What up, Detroit? Coming up on Shop Talk, we're going to talk about the number one pick in the NBA draft and whether or not that guy deserved to be the number one pick. Also, Special K, Gregory Kelser, he stops by, talks hoops, and talks about his basketball camp. And in the sneaker challenge, these are what I'm up against. And these are sweet. Shop Talk starts right now. Some people think the best place to talk about sports <laughs> is on the radio. No way, no how. It's in the barber shop. I should know. I'm a sports analyst. Detroit is a five-point favorite. Devin, save your money, I know. <laughs> and I own a barber shop in Detroit. And the cats in the barber shop, they think they know everything about sports. Get ready for Rob Parker's Shop Talk. Real sports, real talk. This is Shop Talk. Welcome into Shop Talk on this Saturday. I'm Rob Parker. Let's kick it off with Getting Rob, where you get my take on the three biggest sports stories of the week. We start with the Tigers. They play down in Houston against the Astros this afternoon at 4 o'clock as they continue their nine-game road trip. They won the first five games of the road trip. And J.D. Martinez has come out of nowhere. At one point, he had six home runs in nine games. What a godsend he's been for the Tigers. News this week that the NBA is about to sell out and sell the front of their jerseys to advertisers. Say it isn't so, Commissioner Silver. Say it isn't so, NBA players. There's talk that they're going to move the NBA logo to the back of the uniform and then put a, a sponsor's logo on the front of the jersey like McDonald's Golden Arches or Starbucks Coffee Cup or something like that would be on the front of the NBA jersey. I'm sorry, everything's not for sale. Do not do it, NBA. And finally, NBA free agency starts on July 1st. And, you know, the, the big talk about LeBron James, he opted out of his contract at Miami. Those Miami fans are hoping that he re-signs with the team, but he could go to Houston, he could go to Chicago, he could go to Cleveland, he could go to the Clippers. All these things are out here. Hey, LeBron James, go back home, go to Cleveland, make amends. Now it's time for the big debate. It's sponsored by Bob Maxey, the only Ford and Lincoln Mercury dealer in downtown Detroit. To reach him, call 313-392-9200 or visit them on the web at bobmaxeyford.com. On Thursday in Brooklyn, the NBA 2014 draft was held and Andrew Wiggins from Kansas was the first overall pick. Coming out of high school, people were calling this guy was going to be the next LeBron James. He had one year in college. It was a good year. It wasn't as great, but he's the first overall pick. Tico, you buying that? Buying it. Buying it. Sold? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, like you said, LeBron James, look, maybe uh, possibility, you know, come to the NBA and play like him just as well. Great upside, athlete, uh, athletic, you know what I'm saying? I, I really don't think he played that good uh, this uh, uh, past season at Kansas, but because he knew that he was going to go to the NBA, but as you look at him play, how he moves up and down, how quick he is, stuff like that, what he, 6'9", you know what I'm saying? Great upside. Is it, is it the defense you like about him, or is it all around game? People talk about his athleticism, that's the, one of the biggest things you saw of him this season is, is the defense, but when you talk about how he didn't have as good of an offensive season probably that people expected, I was impressed in how when Embiid went out uh, at, towards the end of the year, he really did pick it up with a couple 20-point games, and he really showed the offensive ability that he could bring to the table. Man, come on. What you got buying it? Not what you got, Mark. What you got? I'm not buying it. This guy had four points in his last college game. I'm not buying Andrew Wiggins at all. His whole offensive game, dribble, miss, get the ball off the rebound, put it up. Teak, you taking this? Martin just like totally dissed your basketball I mean, I mean, knowledge. Not buying You're not buying a cow? I sold it. Okay, oh. okay, my thing. You can't shoot a jump shot. You can't shoot a jump shot okay, in the guys. NBA. He's 19. He, he, may have he has to be able to shoot a jump shot. Maybe he'll develop it over time, but right now he can't even make a, a simple 10-footer. What, what is he, the $185 million man? I mean, what is it, Adidas was uh, giving that? I mean, seriously, would you think he, he thought he was going to play hard? You know what I'm saying? Possibly hurt true. himself. That's true. Come on now, he's 185 million waiting on him. Soon as he entered the draft, 
It doesn't make sense. I, I don't it know. It looked like he didn't play to me. But, but he didn't live up, you got to admit. He, he, he didn't live up to the hype coming into college. Would you say that? Early in the season. Okay, that's all I'm saying. he did not live up to the hype at all. He came along late in the season. Maple Jordan, because he's from Canada, supposed to be the Canadian Michael Jordan. Right. No. Why not Canadian Bacon Jordan, no? Oh, man, come on, man. He didn't show me any of that. Nice. He's athletic, yes, but at the number one pick, I'm looking for somebody who's going to step in, contribute tomorrow. Right. And that's not Andrew Wiggins. It affects the whole game. It's going to be interesting because, you know, this is one of those picks where people will be able to look back and see what Parker did or Embiid and say, you blew it, and uh, drafts going by. We've seen teams m miss on the first overall pick. I think we're going to see a battle between Jabari Parker and him as far as uh, rookie of the year. That's true. And you got definitely. I got Jabari Parker, though. And it probably would have been Embiid if had he been healthy, right? I mean, I think most people think that it's so hard to get a big man. You're not buying that? No, uh, I mean, yeah, if he was healthy. He was still, if he was healthy, but he had the back issue in college, the foot issue now. Has he been healthy? I mean, you got to think about it like that. That's true. Well, well, here Greg we go. Oden had nagging injuries through college, and now where is he at? Andrew Wiggins from Canada, the first overall pick. People, all eyes will be on him, whether or not he was the right choice. They're split here, and I, I, I understand why. Check out the Shop Talk Rundown. Here's what's coming up. More Shop Talk is on the way. Stick and stay, Detroit. Do you or anyone you know have less than perfect credit? Has less than perfect credit prevented you from getting the auto or home loan you're looking for? If so, contact United Credit, a national leader in credit restoration and education. Having less than perfect credit can cost you thousands in additional interest and fees and even higher auto insurance rates. With over 10 years experience, they have earned an a rating with the Better Business Bureau and have achieved results for thousands of satisfied clients. Let them help you restore your score and get the credit you deserve. Call them today at 877-274-7654. Hey, boys and girls, it's time for the Southfield Beach Woods Basketball Camp. Ages 7 through 16, come learn basketball fundamentals. Weekly sessions begin June 16th and end August 25th. To register, call 248-796-4670 or go to their website at www.cityofsouthfield.com. If you need work done on your car, truck, or van, take them to the pros at Expert Car Care. They offer free inspections and guarantee the lowest prices in town. Expert Car Care has two locations, seven mile between Myers and Wyoming and eight mile between Mound and Van Dyke. You want flavor? Come to City Wings, 2896 West Grand Boulevard. Call ahead or order online, 313-871-2489, or go to citywingsinc.com. Now it's time for Homeboy Highlights. This week's homeboy is Tiger First Baseman Miguel Cabrera. Miggy drove in the first three runs, and the Tigers went on to beat the Indians 10-4 to earlier in the week at Progressive Field. Cabrera hit a solo home run to right center in the first inning off Cleveland Indians right-handed starter Josh Tomlin. It was Cabrera's 13th home run of the season. Cabrera added an RBI single in the third and brought home another run when he reached on a force in the fifth inning. Miguel Cabrera, you're this week's homeboy. We welcome in one of my favorite people, Special K, Greg Kelser, former Michigan State star, former Piston, and of course, longtime color man for the Pistons on Fox Sports Detroit. Did you call me a colored man? I said color man. There you go. <laughs> Greg, we appreciate you uh, stopping by the shop. And let's talk about the NBA draft that took place Thursday night. Just tell me about the three top players 
and uh, which one you like out of them. Embiid, Wiggins, and of course, uh, Parker. I like them all. I, I think Parker and Wiggins are somewhat similar in size, and uh, when you look at the people that they're being compared to, uh, it, 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 it suggests that they're going to be terrific scorers at the NBA level. I noticed that Parker is being compared to Paul Pierce, and we know what Paul Pierce has been able to do for a number of years in the NBA, uh, similar size. Uh, Wiggins is being uh, compared to a younger uh, scorer in Paul George. Uh, Wiggins is probably the, the more athletic player, but uh, I think uh, the fact that both of them can get their own shots and they can create offense for themselves uh, is going to make them valuable uh, to their respective teams now. And uh, Joel Embiid, well, I'm really hoping that he has first success health-wise. If he does, then he can be terrific. He's being compared to you know, the likes of Roy Hibbert. I think he can be a lot better than Roy Hibbert because I think he's a, a better scorer and in time will be a, a much better and potent postman. And some people are also calling him Sam Bowie, like to stay away because of the injury problems. He had back surgery, now he has something wrong with his leg. You know, like all these other things going on. Is that one of those things where you're afraid to take a guy like that? It's a red flag because there's a history uh, here for us all. You know, Greg Oden was a tall player who, uh, you know, had injuries that he was not able to overcome. And, and so his, his once promising career got short circuited. Um, uh, we all know about Sam Bowie and his issues. Uh, even Bill Walton, who's had, who has a similar foot injury to the one that Embiid is, being, uh, is dealing with now, uh, Bill Walton was able to play 14 years, but they were injury riddled. And, you know, his career, although he did make the Hall of Fame, most of that probably on his college career, he never was the player that he really could have been. He could have been one of the all-time greats uh, because of the injury. So you do have to be careful, especially when, you, when you're picking with a high pick. And now let me ask you about Stan Van Gundy's hiring as team president and coach for the Pistons. I, I liked it as coach-wise. I'm not sure GM-wise because he doesn't have any uh, experience at doing that. But just talk about Stan Van Gundy. Well, I like him, and I like him for reasons beyond coaching. Everybody knows his coaching acumen, his success, his track record is, is documented. I like him because he brings accountability, and he will hold guys responsible. And that's something that I think the Pistons can use. Five years out of the playoffs, a lot of excuse making at times, guys not performing up the standards. Uh, I like what Stan brings. You know, he was a guy that uh, was very demanding in Miami and in Orlando, and that probably got him in trouble in both spots. I was, was going to say, say probably wound up pushing him out. Because, yeah. But he didn't have the necessary backing uh, from upper management in those situations. Well, he is upper management now in this situation with the Pistons so he can be a little bit more forceful a little bit more demanding now uh, because he has uh, the backing of ownership he only reports to one person and now, now tell, tell me about, about your, your, your basketball, basketball camp, camp which you have been doing for how many years now <laughs> when, when does it start give me some, some details because, because even my nephew went, went to your basketball camp, camp way back when. when yes he did Alvin yep. oh, very yeah. Good. Good memory. yeah uh, my basketball camps have been going on in this area since 1978, so uh, I know I'm dating myself, but I was only 20 when I you know, operated my first basketball camp. Um, boys and girls ages 7 to 17, um, we, we, are, we just concluded the first week at Cast Tech, uh, but we've got four more weeks of camp. Um, the three that I like to publicize, uh, because the other one is a specialty camp later on in the summer. But we're going to be at Southfield High School the week of July 7th through the 11th, and then we'll transition to Gross Point North High School um, July 14th through the 18th, and then August 28th, excuse me, July 28th, August 1st at West Bloomfield High School. You can get all the information at my website, GregoryKelser.com, Gregory, not Greg, GregoryKelser.com. We also have a phone number, 2489 you get all the information there, and we would love to have the boys and girls. It's more than basketball, Rob, as you know. I know that. We spent a great deal of time talking about athletic, uh, excuse me, academics and how education is very, very important. It's vital. What we're trying to prove is that the two can coexist, but it has to be in the proper order. Academics first, athletics second. I like it. It has to work that way. It has to work that way. And, Greg, we appreciate you. Or Gregory, as even the man Mark You can call me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You Gregory. But we appreciate, we got a gift certificate here to Beans and Cornbread right there on Northwestern Highway. All right. Have lunch on us. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right. Our walk-in guest is sponsored in part by Beans and Cornbread on Northwestern Highway in Southfield. More Shop Talk is on the way. Stick and stay, Detroit.
For the best sports coverage on the web, go to theshadowleague.com. Coverage with a cultural perspective. Check it out. For the best alterations in town, go to Sam's Alterations on Southfield Road in Lathrop Village, 248-552-9950. Sam also has a great selection of men's suits. Sam's the man. If you need work done on your car, truck, or van, take them to the pros at Expert Car Care. They offer free inspections and guarantee the lowest prices in town. Expert Car Care has two locations, seven miles between Myers and Wyoming and eight miles between Mound and Van Dyke. If you're looking for good food, go to Beans and Cornbread, the heart and soul of Southern cooking. 29508 Northwestern Highway, Southfield, 248-208-1680. Are you looking for an affordable apartment downtown? Check out the River House. Get a studio apartment, everything included. Electric, water, parking. It's just $550 a month. For info, call 586-431-0804. The best haircuts in Detroit are at Sporty Cuts. Home of the $10 all-even haircut. Hey, Teak, don't take too much off. Come on! Seven mile between Outer Drive and Myers, Sporty Cuts. All right, now it's time for Trash Talking Twitter. This tweet comes from at Cloenham. Where did the Tigers get this J.D. Martinez? The J must stand for Jack. Hashtag home run machine. If you want to trash anyone or anything in sports, hit us up on our Twitter. Time to change gears. Here's Hip Hop News. What's going on? It's your Uncle Bill with the Hip Hop News. DJ Rob Swift says people's priorities seem to be in the wrong places. DJ Rob Swift is scheduled to teach turntablism, I said turntablism, at the Rhapsody Hip Hop Camp this summer. The invitation only camp is set to run July 28th through August 8th in Cleveland, Ohio, and teach students the four basic elements of hip hop, rapping, b boying, graffiti art, and DJing. Rhapsody is put on by the Progressive Arts Alliance, or also known as PAA, a nonprofit that seeks to inspire kids through arts and education. In other news, Angie Martinez has addressed her departure from New York's Hot 97 and her transition to Power 105.1. It was time for me to grow and do things, she says in an interview with Power 105's Breakfast Club. I'm sure you all know this company offers so much opportunity for growth. I want to be on in different cities. I want to be able to grow. I want to be able to have new challenges and see new things. I want to know how the studio works, and it was time. I've done what I can do in that other company. I think my friendships will remain. Angie worked at Hot 97 for 25 years. Her new show on Power 105.1 starts the second week of July. And finally, get ready for some new music. Preparing to release his long-awaited solo street album on July 2nd, Detroit rapper Doughboy's Cash Out Kiddo collaborates with Kiki Alexandria to leak his second official single named after the mixtape, Breaking All the Rooms. Well, that's it. That's your hip-hop news. I'm your Uncle Bill. I'm out. It's Shop Talk's Cut of the Week. Okay, for uh, this haircut, we have a all leaving. Nice sharp line, razor line on it, taper in the back. Celebrity black around the lineup. These are sharp and crisp and ready and have you ready for the weekend. More Shop Talk is on the way. Stick and stay, Detroit.
If you need work done on your car, truck, or van, take them to the pros at Expert Car Care. They offer free inspections and guarantee the lowest prices in town. Expert Car Care has two locations, seven mile between Myers and Wyoming and eight mile between Mound and Van Dyke. You want flavor? Come to City Wings, 2896 West Grand Boulevard. Call ahead or order online, 313-871-2489 or go to citywingsinc.com. The best haircuts in Detroit are at Sporty Cuts. Home of the $10 all-even haircut. Hey, Teak, don't take too much off. Come on! Seven mile between Outer Drive and Myers, Sporty Cuts. For the best alterations in town, go to Sam's Alterations on Southfield Road in Lathrop Village, 248-552-9950. Sam also has a great selection of men's suits. Sam's the man. Do you or anyone you know have less than perfect credit? Has less than perfect credit prevented you from getting the auto or home loan you're looking for? If so, contact United Credit, a national leader in credit restoration and education. Having less than perfect credit can cost you thousands in additional interest and fees, and even higher auto insurance rates. With over 10 years' experience, they have earned an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and have achieved results for thousands of satisfied clients. Let them help you restore your score and get the credit you deserve. Call them today at 877-274-7654. Now it's time for At The Movies with Greg. So far, like everyone from Detroit that I know. Oh, great. Yeah. Great. So it's, we're, off to, we're off to a great start. We certainly are. Certainly are. Actually, even much better than the character Tammy in the movie. <laughs> it kind of yes. Out a little rough for her. It's a, yeah, it was about as... We, we kind of tried to think of like what is within, within the realm of reality, what really could be just the worst day. <laughs> and we wanted to make her somewhat responsible mm -hmm. for it, but also, you know, she didn't really mean to not be paying attention when she hit the deer, like everything. Right. But it's all, you know, it's all kind of her fault, but you weirdly hopefully feel a little sorry for her at the same time. And then all of a sudden it turns actually into this fascinating road trip with you and your grandmother. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, we wanted to kind of have, th there's something magic about a road trip that mm -hmm. everybody's, everybody's out of their element. Nobody, you can't be too comfortable because all your, all the things that you kind of lean on, your crutches, your, your comforts, your, even your weird bad habits, they'll kind of go away on a road and you're just kind of left, you know, a little raw. So we, mm -hmm. we wanted to see these two kind of try to reconnect right. under those <laughs> kind of difficult circumstances. Mm -hmm. We're going to need more pies! America, huh? What have you ever done that's that cool? I watched Neil Armstrong walk on the moon. On his bike? Neil. Now it's time for the debate challenge. This week we welcome in Reef, one of our barbers here at Sporty Cuts. He wanted to get in on the debate challenge. And we're talking LeBron James, who opted out of his contract with Miami. Reef, you think he's staying in Miami? Uh, I definitely think he's staying in Miami. He opted out, but I believe he's still going to stay at the end of the day. I don't think he's staying. I think that's why Pat Riley gave that speech about cutting and running. He was talking to LeBron without talking to LeBron. And LeBron opted out. He didn't even opt out with his boys. How come Dwayne Wade and, and Chris Bosh didn't opt out on the same day as LeBron? LeBron got other plans that might not include those guys. You're not buying that? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, up to this point, they all, they all three came to a decision, you know, to stay there, to stay in their contract. So they've been working at a team uh, up to this point. So I believe uh, they all opt out. I don't blame them, you know, as a player. You don't get that type of option over your career. You know, I could opt out and have my options. So, you know, I agree with them on, on that. I think one of the big three may leave, but it ain't going to be LeBron. Let's just face it, that big three in Miami, it's a wrap. It's over. It's done. Did you see what San Antonio did to those boys? It's a wrap. LeBron knows it. He smells it. He's seen Dwayne Wade and the state he's in. LeBron is moving on. I'm thinking he's going back home to Cleveland to make amends with his people there. That's where I think LeBron's going. 
What do you, so you think he's going to wind up in Miami. What about the Cleveland thing? Any chance of that happening? I don't see that happening. I mean, he, 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 he was there a lot. He dealt with them. That Cleveland thing is just it's over with. Stay in Miami. Uh, continue to show your loyalty with your legacy and uh, continue to get more rings in Miami. I think that's what he's going to do. All right. We appreciate it. Of course, you did not win the debate, but thanks for joining us. Thank you. Here's the Instagram shop of the day. The Instagram shop of the day belongs to Los Champions Barbershop, located at 8220 Michigan Avenue in Detroit. Call 313-436-5672. If you want your shop featured, send us a picture to our Instagram account. Now it's time for a segment we call What You Sporting? What You Sporting is sponsored by Bob's Classic Kicks on Woodward in Detroit. This week, we welcome in Demond, one of our A1 barbers here at Sporty Cuts. What's, What's up, up Demond? What's going on? But I think I got you. I got my summer light air fatigue Nike 5.0s. Look how sweet these are for the summer. Right. What you got? Check these out. These Air Force One, parachute Air Force One, high top boys. I do like the red trim, man. Now, that is pretty sweet. That's what it does. You know what? Let's see. You know what? I think Demond, you got me. All right. All right. All right, that's Shop Talk for this week. See you next week. And don't forget, for the best sports talk on the radio, Monday through Friday, listen to Sports Night with Parker and the Man on WDFN, AM 1130, The Fan. If you want to advertise on Shop Talk, call us at 586-431-0804.